Well, Titan upload here with some bad news from Titans camp today. The injury bug hit hard. Uh, it took our right guard, Nate Davis, apparently left the practice today off on a cart. Uh, it looks like it's his left knee. Um, doesn't look very good on, and promising for that matter. So we'll have to keep you updated on that situation. Now with Nate Davis, I mean, this is his second year. Starting at right guard is a big deal for the Titans moving forward. We depended a lot on that right side. He was the veteran, right? Because right tackle Isaiah Wilson, I'm not sure when he'll be starting. I think by week six. But, you know, Dennis Kelly's going to have to hold up the right tackle. Ty uh, Sambrillo, Sambrillo, he's been doing pretty good apparently at camp as well. But he's a tackle. So it looks like the season at Denver, I mean, guys, I'm being honest with you, unless it's just like a Montgomery situation from the Bears where he gets carted off and it seemed like he's okay, I mean, he's going to miss two to four weeks uh, for the Bears. I, if that doesn't happen with the Titans, you know, it looks like the Tennessee Titans might be without the right. Now, breaking news, uh, we dodged a major, major catastrophe at right guard. According to Terry McCormick, it does look like Nate Davis will be fine. Just a cramp. Um, we saw Paul Kaharski report earlier. It didn't look good. So this is the latest update that I have. Uh, again, Terry McCormick says nothing more than a cramp. So whew, it was a close one, guys. Uh, so keep an eye on, on Nate Davis. Also on the offense side of the ball, A.J. Brown left again. He uh, missed the practice or two. Gets back on the field, did some things, did some cuts, and then ends up going back into uh, the locker room. So that's very, very – that's tough. That's a tough situation. Hopefully he's okay. Darrington Evans has missed his seventh straight practice. Yes, seventh straight practice. That is concerning. Maybe that is why we went out and got McNichols. Maybe that's why we are really starting to panic on who's going to take that backup role for the running back. We'll throw this out there. Uh, Fournette is out there. So if you're worried about Derrick Henry, I know they say basically play the same type of game. Maybe it's worth a, a chance to call him and see what you could do. For, for, for him, coming from LSU, he definitely has the talent. It looks like it's more of a motivational issue. So maybe, you know, the Titans can uh, get him to actually, you know, produce on the field and put forth the effort, which it seems like that climate down in Jacksonville with the culture, not very good. So, Maybe that's a you know a risk you're willing to take to bring him in to see what you can do if the price is right. Then we go to the other side of the ball. Fulton missed his sixth practice in a row. Uh, so we have Evans, a rookie, who misses his seventh practice in a row. Fulton misses his sixth practice in a row. That's very problematic, especially when you don't have any insurance anymore, as Logan Ryan signed yesterday with the Giants for $7.5 million. Then you look at the big injury news of the day, along with Nate Davis, you have um, Roberson who goes down, and this one looks very, very bad. Uh, it, team drills broke out. He he goes down. He couldn't put any pressure on either leg uh, going into the locker room, apparently, as they tried to get him back there. So definitely keep him on your mind because, honestly, without him as a, as a backup, I mean, we're really going full blast in with Wyatt Ray and uh, also with Davis that we got from Miami. So... That could be problematic. Again, you know, the media has been telling us all along that the Tennessee Titans are going to be fine because they got these backup pieces. Well, these backup pieces now are going to be right to the forefront, and they're going to have to produce. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. If I'm John Robinson, I'm on the phone already, and I'm going after Clowney because he's really the only option left to bring in here. See what you can do. See if you can bring him in for $15 million for one season. I don't know why not, I, I, apparently. I mean, we don't know what's going on with Vic Beasley. He's still not practicing with the team. You're banking on Correa, Landry, which is fine, but then you don't have another solid piece. So DeAndre Walker is going to have to grow up before eyes really, really fast to get on the field. So, again, from Titans news, not good today on September 1st. And then you see uh, Ro Roberson goes down as well. He's a, you know, a decent backup. You know, he was an undrafted free agent um, that we, we signed last year uh, in 2019, and he stepped up at the end of the season. He had some burst, uh, seemed to provide the Titans with a little bit of energy, obviously some depth for 2020, 
But if he's down and done, which doesn't look good, uh, we're in big trouble. So, J-Rob, make it happen. Get Clowney on the phone. Let's bring him in. Because I, I don't know how much we can trust Vic Beasley right now. And the Titans need to do something. Because that side of the ball looks like a hot mess. So hopefully the Titans can figure it out. Because the Broncos are waiting less than two weeks away before the Titans go on to Denver. Don't forget, Titan Upload Live. You can join us this Sunday night. And hopefully we got some better news as we're going to get into the roster cuts as we're, we're getting to that point now as we're about two under two weeks away. And again, tighten up the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you soon. Tighten up for now. Fingers crossed. Everything's going to be okay with these guys that are hurt today. Tighten up.